when we go over the planes, we're free flight here. Not to be confused. Oh, you ready? Yeah. He's right here in the struts of the airplane. These aren't to be confused with the stud over there that's untying the uh, thing. You got your stud, your struts, your stud, your struts. You got dual struts on both sides. Those support the wings off of the fuselage of the airplane. Very critical. You lose your struts and you die. What well, if you lose your studs? If you lose your studs, you just uh, have to make room for the other studs that are around. <laughs> You've That's got your wings, critical. you've got yeah, a pair. You your wings, those are very critical. Uh, years and years of flight research determined that the ring wings were important. They learned that from birds. <laughs> That's it. So right here is your horn. A lot of times out on the uh, taxi runway or even up in the air, there's often occasion where you need to use that horn. When you use the horn, you don't want to blast it. You just want to give a light tap on the horn to alert your fellow pilots that you're in the vicinity. There's a guy going out right now. He's got a horn. Take it away. Yep, he's got a horn out there. This is probably orange. My guess. That's a, uh, that's a cow train. <laughs> he's going out to fix the little highway. Here, look at, look this at right how. Here, this is your prop. This is your propeller. You don't want to be near this when it's going and chop your head off. Your prop is not to be confused with your stud either. The stud's still back there working. The, yeah. That's me. Yeah. Taking all the things off. This, of course, is your uh, landing gear, your landing and takeoff gear. Very critical. The plane can fly beautifully, but if you don't have tires to land, that, uh, that can kind of ruin the whole trip for you. They say a landing is, is the most important part of the trip. Any landing that you can walk away from is a good landing. So we'll be making note of that later today. Sure. Frank's going to fly here, <laughs> take off. He's, uh, <laughs> These right up here are your television antennas, television and radio. Now, is there um, cable or satellite hookup in this particular model? Satellite hookup up okay. there in this particular model. There okay. are some that are cable, but uh, they don't have a long range. <laughs> you can't fly real far. But these are your uh, your television. That that big white one's the television. This one's your radio, AM and FM, and you get a lot better reception up in the air. So that's that's generally a pretty good thing. Uh, why don't we come on around here and uh, oh, these right here. Now this was a design flaw with this particular plane. These are your turn signals, but if you'll notice on the opposite wing, they forgot to put them in. Uh, that was a design flaw uh, that Jerry just overlooked. You know, there's some things he's he's older. In the back and they're in the connected. front, not in the back. Yeah, they're on the front, not on the back. Right. That's, that's a little design flaw there, but uh, you know, it still still works pretty good. We'll come on around here. Now I noticed, Greg, the uh, special wing tips. Yeah, these. These are your, uh, these are your uh, flying over water uh, wing tips. They allow you, should the plane go into the water, um, these help balance it out. It's kind of like the pontoons on a boat. You know, if you've ever seen those big Hawaiian boats where they get all the guys rolling and they got that one thing out to the side, that's what this little feature is. And it also uh, doubles as kind of a, uh, you know, should the plane flip, and you land on the water and, and you have to abandon ship, the wings will, te or will tear off and these uh, struts will work kind of like rudders and then this is uh, part of the support for you to, to lean up. It also provides some shade if you're out in the open ocean uh, <laughs> stranded out there. This will provide a little bit of shade for you certain hours of the day, not all day. Anymore. Yes, right. Okay, and then uh, come back here to the rear. Now this is, uh, this is your tail section. Is <laughs> no. your flaps. Now which rear are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> this is the rear of the plane, not to be confused with the rear of the stud. <laughs> okay, rear of the stud, rear of the plane, got it. You know, Frank has a thing with that rear thing. He's done that in quite a number of shots. Well, now that's another design flaw. Um, this is the headlight right here. <laughs> But they accidentally put it on the back. I see. And uh, well, not only the back, but then one on the top, which uh, mm. you know, why? Who Do knows? the design flaws ever worry you when you're up in the air? Uh, they did a little bit, particularly <laughs> night flying. Night flying was when they were more critical. So you could see from behind fine, but ahead was pitch right. black. Well, and also because of the tail light being on the back, if you're flying at night, it could give other planes the impression that you're in reverse, that ah. you're going in reverse, like a you know reverse light on a car. Yes. Uh, so you know that that was a fearful thing because they ah. could, you know get confused with what direction. Sure. We're just checking all the. Uh... We're just checking all the uh, design flaws. <laughs> This is 
your name panel right here. This is the name of this plane. This is a Piper. It doesn't say Piper, but it's a Tri-Pacer. No. Piper Tri-Pacer. This is, uh, what is this, a 1952? 1951. 1951 model. Um, Jerry, uh, this, obviously, uh, Jerry was born quite a bit earlier than that. But, uh, <laughs> oh! We've got a 1951. And uh, what else have we got here? We're showing them different things like the turn signals. And uh, <laughs> these are some of the, uh, these are some of your cables that regulate the uh, flaps on the wing. Oh, yes. Those are pretty important. You lose those, you lose your flaps, and then you got a flapless, flapless oh. thing. And up in the air, that's scary. It's, you hate to be flapless yeah. up in the air. Yeah. And that's, that's the kind of thing you can do without, you know, the, the turn signals. But if you lose a flap, you're, you're in trouble. You go yeah. over the emergency brake system. Yeah. Yeah, the emergency brake system, the way that works. Is it kind of like a Fred Flintstone system? <laughs> Stick your legs the out. The emergency brake yeah. system, here's the way it works. You'll notice this window over here by the horn. The window uh, will open up, and uh, what the pilot has to do, which in this case is Jerry, will get out of the plane while it's in motion and come out here far enough to be able to grab hold of the prop to stop it. So that functions as an emergency I brake. see. So he just reaches out and grabs it. That's right. Okay. Grabs it. Yep. Yep. So uh, that's that's pretty much this, the nuts and bolts of the plane. This is worth more than your car, your van. <laughs> <Yeah. popular>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.